for if you had a single drop of African blood, you were black, no matter how light your skin or straight your hair. The next first family of the United States of America. Who then could wonder at the joy among African Americans in Grant Park or in Harlem on election night? Having been taunted by Jim Crow, African Americans celebrated the election of the first black man to the White House. But these faces in the crowd, their variety and mix, suggest that we are already a nation more complex than we know how to say. Television and print journalists who witnessed the night relied on the old black-white vocabulary. The media proclaimed Barack Obama America's first black president, their formulation suggesting that Jim Crow still trailed the nation, even at the moment when racism's curse seemed to be broken. Even while all this has been taking place in our national political life, there has been, in the quiet of the Desaché Museum here on the campus of Santa Clara University in California, an exhibit called Part Asian, 100% Hapa. These photographs by Kip Fulbeck are a people who foretell not a post-racial, but a multi-racial America. Chinese, Japanese, German, Hungarian, English. Japanese, Mexican, Spanish, English. Think of the many journeys, the many loves that created these lives. The Chinese, English, Scottish, German woman writes in the caption alongside her portrait, my last boyfriend told me that he liked me because of my race, so I dumped him. Their humor is striking, as is the refusal to choose one parent's culture or blood over the other. I am, yes, an American kid who celebrates Hanukkah with his Jewish stepfather, prays to Buddha with his Buddhist mama, and then goes to midnight mass with his Christian father and waits for Santa Claus to come down the chimney. Yeah. Much has been written lately in the press about the rugged individualism of Sarah Palin's Alaska. Languid Hawaii exerts an opposite pull on the American imagination. It is a state of our greatest miscegenation. In recent years, an Asian in America might be regarded as an honorary white. This Asian Hawaiian generation revels in the opportunity to avoid the black-white dialectic altogether and marry in any direction. Though Tiger Woods is not included in this exhibit, I remembered in these faces the famous son of Thailand and Africa who named himself Cablanasian, acknowledging the Caucasian, black, Indian, and Asian within himself. I remember how at first his self-designation offended some African Americans who accused him of denying his blackness. Now Barack Obama's half-sister Maya, the daughter of an Indonesian father Barack Obama's stepfather and the wife of a Canadian Malaysian Chinese might also be called a Hapa. Perhaps all of America will become Hapa. This Japanese, French, Chinese, Irish, Swedish, Sioux Indian writes beside his portrait, I am exactly the same as every other person in the year 2500. O brave new world. I'm Richard Rodriguez.